In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sylvine Originals Memo Book. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Sylvine Originals Memo Book. This is a notebook that I've actually started carrying on the PeeperMind.com. Blake's Broadcast viewers and subscribers get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Now, I don't put other notebooks or other paper products on my website willy-nilly. It has to be something that I really like and that I think is really good quality. Now, I've been using these for quite a while and really for me these are just sort of the upgraded, the premium field notes. Now, these are older than field notes. To go into the history of this supposedly and I don't know if this is true. They've been making these since the 1920s and in the same exact same factory in Yorkshire, England. Now, how similar this is to the original, I do not know. I assume that this is nicer. When I was a kid, I had a Sylvine memo book and they still make one that looks just like that, which is called like the, the basic. And I don't have one of those. They're, I think they're less than a dollar. They're really cheap. Um, they have like a staple binding, kind of like a, a field notes, not very durable and not fountain pen friendly. Now this one specifically is called the Sylvine Originals version, and that's the upgraded one. These are $5, which is more expensive than a field notes, but it's made better. The paper is way better. It's pretty much better in every way. The only thing that I personally think is a downside here, uh, potentially, is that a field notes has rounded corners, so when you're shoving one of these in and out of a bag, you know, you can potentially bump the corners. I have been using this one quite a bit. I've already kind of marked up the cover a little bit for, I think I've used this two weeks now. It looks pretty good. Let's walk through it and sort of go over why I think this is a much superior product to those field notes. So in terms of specs, we have 52 ruled pages. So that's 28 sheets, and it is in one signature here. Now on their website they say it's hand stitched but on the cover here it says Singer Sewn. So my guess is that just means that someone's hands are going like this through you know the machine versus someone actually hand stitching it. I could be wrong about that but the fact that it says Singer Sewn makes me think it's done on a machine with someone's hands guiding it. Now you will see that they go back over the threads here so these are super durable. They will not come apart. It's a really good, strong binding method. Definitely superior to the Field Notes staples. Now, the size is a little bit bigger. I think it's more comfortable, personally. You know, to me, neither of these are small enough where I want to put them in my pocket. So I do like the little bit extra real estate that we get here. Sylvine does do a pocket size notebook, which I will be carrying because I do personally carry one of those. But this is the most classic version of the Sylvine, the memo pad one. So that's what I've started with and that's what I like for, I use these for like tracking meals and expenses, that kind of thing. I really like these a lot. Now they're made in England in that same factory, supposedly that they've been making them since the 1920s in uh, Yorkshire. The stitching is a midnight blue color. It really, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's almost black. The paper is made by James Cropper Mill, which is an old English mill, I think from the 1800s. Um, it has a nice woven, the paper will have a nice woven texture to it. Really nice to write on here. So we have the Sylvine logo here, which is like a crest and a reef, Sylvine in script. Yeah, admittedly not my favorite logo, but it really is such a good notebook. Memo here in a, a square. They do a bullet version of this, um, which I actually haven't tried yet. I will have to try one of those. British made, because of course it's made in England, and even the paper is made in England. Now, the cover is a pretty thick paper soft cover here. You can see there's a ribbed texture to it. It has a very nice tactile feel to it. 
yeah, very simple. There's no pace down, of course. I mean, this is really a simple notebook. You do get a bookmark, which is pretty nice. Yeah, see, they say held together by a fully hand-stitched spine with fully finished with ends that won't unravel. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I think I have a different... Uh, I, I don't know. Is it hand-stitched or does it go through a machine? I think it probably goes through a machine. But I like that they give you a bookmark. I think that is nice. Definitely a good feature there. Now all the papers, uh, pages rather, are perforated. They are a seven millimeter rule and it's a, a blue ruling. So definitely a very classic notebook style for sure. Now in terms of removing pages, we can go ahead and try and remove one. One thing that you will notice, again, it is a single signature just sewn down the middle. It takes a little bit of work to get it to really lay flat. It does lay flat and usually as I'm going along I'm you know folding over pages just trying to keep it down and flat. It's not a big deal it's just kind of part of the deal. It's the same thing you would do you know with a field notes you just kind of push them down there although this is maybe not quite as flexible. Now in terms of removing the pages they are perforated and they do work pretty nicely. Yeah, nice clean tear. Really good. And we can kind of see a little bit of that woven texture there. So let's go to the paper test. Looking at the paper test here, everything on the front here looks, I think, really nice. Notice that that pink pilot parallel, we have some interesting splotching with some sheen there. Also on the Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy nib that has an Orochi Zuku blue. On the face of it, I think everything looks really good. This pilot looks a little, yeah. this was a brand new pen, so it took a minute to get writing and then it wrote fine. But anyway, in terms of the fountain pens, I think everything looks really nice. No bleeding, or sorry, no feathering. Now when we turn over the back, basically everything passed except for the troublemakers. There's zero bleed, no hints of bleed on this paper. It's a 90 GSM paper, I should mention. Again, woven texture, and it's made by James Cromer Mill in England, so really nice. You can see the Copic came through the Sharpie Fine and the Pilot Oil drawing pen just a little bit. So really, really excellent performance. It's great with fountain pens. These upgraded originals versions are really strong. I mean, I've been using them on and off for quite a while now, and I've certainly never had one fall apart on me. They're really, really nice. So what are my pros and cons for the Sylvine Originals Memo Book? The biggest pro for me is the paper. It's a really nice paper with a woven texture and it's awesome with fountain pens. I don't have any issues with bleeding or feathering. It's really excellent. I like the seven millimeter rule. I like the stitched binding. It's quite durable, as is this kind of ribbed heavy paper cover. It's really quite excellent. I like that all the pages are perforated so they're easy to take out. I like that it comes with a bookmark and I like that it's not too expensive. At about $5, it's really not bad. And I know, you know, compared to a, a field notes, it's a little bit more expensive, but most field notes that I've used do not work with fountain pens. They bleed and they feather. So a little bit more for this, I think it's totally worth it. Now, in terms of cons, it has a bright blue ruling, very old school looking. I typically like a lighter ruling, but again, for $5, I can't really complain. And again, this is a very classic notebook, so it's a really minor gripe, I would say. So that is pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.